All right, good afternoon. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me see if the volume's all the way maxed out. Someone said the volume earlier wasn't. Um, I have a young man in my third period class who's been doing a lot of airbrush work with me. He was kind of nervous. So I want to clarify. This was a young lady from last year who was in band. Same young lady, but the new effects and the new shadow flames are the young man from my third period. All of this work is from the young man in my third period, except for this one as a little bit of a young lady in my fifth period class who added some effects just to make the flames grow out. This area right here is mine, but he was, he was a little self-conscious about his work. And I just wanted to get you guys to chip in, tell him he's doing all right, what have you, what not. I also reorganized the forces. So, um, again, the warlock leader of this formation is actually at home in a box with a red bike. He's the only one with the red bike because I wasn't going to destroy the original artwork. It was gorgeous from New Orleans. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Paul Haruf and I'll tag him in a post when I get to it. So the other four, the other two vipers, they're coming out pretty good. They're a little bright, so I'm going to do a dull coat and then a dark color on top of the work. But um, the formation is three squads of three. You can see the designation: the Warlock Squad, the HQ Squad, and the four Vipers. And I think that's it. Um, the race, the. Um, Aspect host is going to be three squads with an HQ. Every squad has a um, upgrade. So all the wave serpents are the same basic loadout. Just got to put some glass on the canopies. I got to rebuild a cockpit over there. Still got one fire prism. Um, the six war walkers, three of them are twin link or dual star. Um, scatter lasers or star cannons, and the other ones are bright lances. So I think it's six bright lance shots. To clarify, the gray one is in this squad. These two are for trader for sale. I prefer to trade them out for two more um, unpainted or can easily be fixed paint jobs. I don't want to paint over gorgeous work. That way I can throw my harlocks and um, Howling Banshees in two more and then I'll find something for him to carry but this is the basic chunk of the Eldar Force minus the three Wraith Knights you see and I know I need a Wraith Lord for a um, Warrior Host but that's pretty much that I will set up the Eldar I mean, not the Eldar, Imperial Guard tomorrow, once one of the tables clears up, because these are all project tables. As far as the Tau update, I got the four bags worth of drones. Um, I got my starting Tau box somewhere, hiding in, from me in plain sight, probably. But, with that, the Piranhas are looking great. Got the two squads of nine, so that makes 24... Pathfinder so I can run the other formation. I can run any of the Pathfinder formations now Especially the broadside one where I have three complete squads of broadsides so um, Some of you guys don't like recast. I got this one In a trade for like six bucks. I'm not complaining about it. It came out decent um, As far as recasting and buying and trading recasts go if I end up with it and it serves the purpose of a model, great. Where my limit stops for on recast is I'm not going to send a thousand dollars to China for a fake manta that falls apart or melts. Granted, some people have posted really good quality knockoffs. I'm sorry, for certain models, I want that nice little forge oil certificate that says, yes, you bought this from England. And yes, the casting's bad, and yes, the casting sucks. Um, I own recast models. I'm not butthurt over it. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm just going to accept it for what it is. This is the new Devilfish, and I know it's like 
This this goblin green is some bright stuff, and I'm not complaining. And then, yeah, I did. I went back to my old method of stenciling, where I customized my own stencils and cut them out myself. Um, Fallout hobbies don't get offended. You guys do great work, but I just wanted. I had these stencils laying around unused for years when I did my old digital camel towel, which I have to repost videos of. But I'm going to mix and match for this one because I want to see how this could work out. So that was this color, which I'm going to do on a hammerhead. And I'm trying to debate between a scorpion green and liverly light green. Um, whoever posts the most comments and likes, that's what the next color will go up from this um, Pathfinder Devilfish. Storm Towns are coming along all right. I like the weapons configuration. Like I said, I got them in a trade. Um, starting with the red on this one, one of my little sixth graders used up all my red today. I'm kind of sad. So, the um, Wraith Knight is going to get the pearl red tomorrow. And that's it from the dungeon. The dungeon is secured, finally. Um, other projects going on. One of my students in third period, a different young man, is building me a low-budget gaming rig, mostly for Steam games that don't need a lot of horsepower. It's been sitting forever. I want to show you the artwork. I love art. And pausing. Um, personal confession. When I hit middle school, I went to school for three reasons. Lunch wasn't one of them. Lunch sucked. I ate a lot of bread and picked up a lot of body weight. I went to school for art, my tech class, and um, friends, girls, but mostly friends. Girls were always part of the equation, so they didn't count. But I had a high school student who was special ed, and I'm, I, you know, for HIPAA and FERPA reasons. Um, young man graduated high school, went to the Army, but he's a tattoo artist in the San Antonio area and where he's currently stationed. Some of, you know, moving around, it got bumped up and scratched, but... At a distance, this is gorgeous. And we call it Idrisil, the angry tree. But you can find him on Instagram under the Resig if you're interested in seeing more of his work. And tell him his teacher said hi. But again, from the dungeon to my house to you guys, nothing but love. And have a great evening. Yes, and even my annoying ones... My annoying students can be useful. Look at all this beautiful base work. Oh, wow. I'm so done. So, yeah. They just can't clean up for Jack, but they can sure get some base work done. I want you guys to have a beautiful evening. And I will talk to you soon. Montague out.